Hi, welcome to another episode of Medicine Simplified. In this video, we will learn more about topical steroids, their classification, contraindications, and adverse effects. So, what are topical steroids? These are corticosteroids that help in management of dermatological diseases and have less adverse effects when compared to systemic corticosteroids. They are effective for conditions involving hyperproliferation, immunological and inflammatory properties. Topical steroids are used to manage diseases like psoriasis, limited areas of vitiligo, eczema, atopic dermatitis, acute radiation dermatitis, lichen planus, lichen simplex chronix, discoid lupus erythematis and lichen sclerosis. Coming to the mechanism of action. The mechanism of action of topical steroids is vast. Consisting of anti-inflammatory, anti-mitotic and immunosuppressive effects. Anti-inflammatory effects consist of vasoconstriction, inhibition of release of phospholipase A2 and a direct inhibitory effect on DNA and inflammatory transcription factors. Antimitotic effects play a great role in the treatment of psoriasis by decreasing the epidermal mitosis. Coming to the immunosuppressive effects which involve the inhibition of humoral factors involved in the inflammatory response as well as suppression of maturation, differentiation and proliferation of all immune cells. Let us see classification of topical steroids. They are classified into four types based on their potency. First one is ultra high potency topical steroids. Second one is high potency topical steroids. Third moderate potency topical steroids. Fourth low potency topical steroids. Coming to the ultra high potency topical steroids. Clobetazole propionate which is available in 0.05 percentage cream form. Difluorazone diacetate which is available in 0.05 percent ointment form. Coming to high potency topical steroids, amicinonide which is available in 0.1 percent ointment form. Betamethasone dipropionate which is available in 0.05 percent ointment form. Desoxymetazone which is available in 0.025 percent cream form. Flocinomide which is available in 0.05 percent cream ointment or gel form. Halcinomide which is available in 0.1 percent cream form. Betamethasone valerate which is available in 0.1 percent ointment form. Difluorazone diacetate which is available in 0.05 percent cream form. Tramsalone astonide which is available in 0.1 percent ointment. Coming to the moderate potency topical steroids, desoxymetazone which is available in 0.05 percent cream, flocinolone astonide which is available in 0.025 percent ointment, fluohydroxycortide which is available in 0.05 percent ointment, hydrocortisone valerate which is available in 0.2 percent ointment. Hydrocortisone butyrate which is available in 0.1 percent cream. Coming to the low potency topical steroids. Betamethasone valerate which is available in 0.05 percent lotion. Desonide which is available in 0.05 percent cream. Dexamethasone sodium phosphate 
which is available in 0.1% cream. Hydrocortisone acetate, which is available in 1% cream. Methyl prednisolone acetate, which is available in 0.25% cream. Next, we will know what are the adverse effects of topical steroids. Adverse effects of topical corticosteroids can be divided into local and systemic effects. The most common local effects include atrophy, stray, rosea, perioral dermatitis, acne and purpura. Atrophy occurs when there is a persistent use in same region. So, repeated application of topical corticosteroids lead to atrophy. Atrophy is a reversible with cessation of steroid use. However, it may take months for skin to appear normal again. Second adverse effect is toye, which develops due to injury to dermis and mechanical stress. Topical corticosteroids usage can be result in acne formation due to degradation of the follicular epithelial cells and increase in concentration of free fatty acids on the skin surface which lead to acne formation. Steroid rosea can occur when steroids are prescribed initially for erythema with or without pustules. Less common local adverse effect include hypertrichosis, pigment alteration and delayed wound healing. Coming to the contraindications of topical steroids, they are contraindicated for bacterial infections as their anti-inflammatory and vasoconstrictive effects will mask the infection, ultimately delaying the diagnosis and treatment. Topical steroids should be avoided in impetigo, froncles, bronchals, cellulitis and pharyngitis conditions. Other contraindications include candida and dermatophytes. The immunosuppressive effects may be result in persistent fungal infections. Important things to remember when you are prescribing topical steroids. The duration of treatment should not be greater than 2 to 4 weeks regardless of their potency. It may be high, moderate or low potency. High potency steroids should not be administered for more than 2 weeks. Immediate stoppage of topical steroid is not advised. Should be tapered to avoid adverse effects of steroids. If you like this video, please do like, share and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.